Ambassador. Be fiercely loyal. Treachery has no honor. You shall never forgive and forget. But remember and recover. You may rather die on your feet than live on your knees. Destroy. What destroys you? <laughs> Hi Kickstarter, greetings from Tiny Shark. I'm here to give you an introduction to the game and some of its features, then talk about why we are at Kickstarter. Now, Exor the Rising is a third-person open-world action RPG game that's set in a fictional medieval world of Eogan. Right from the beginning of production, we wanted to make an RPG that is really unique, something that stands out. Without having the usual magic monsters and dragons, we wanted to give importance to story and also add something really exciting that gamers will remember. That's why we came up with a concept of featuring mechanical medieval gadgets, which give special abilities to the hero and can be used in combat and exploration. For example, we have a harpoon ability, which can be used to grab enemies and reel them towards you during combat. You can use this same ability to pull interactable objects during exploration. Like this, we have a gadget that shoots bolts, one that makes you jump higher, one that knocks back the enemy and much, much more. We have about 24 different gadgets already designed and we are planning to add more. Well, in this game you play as Damien Clive, former commander of the Exor Army Unit who had failed to protect his king after being betrayed by one of his own men. He loses everything and starts from scratch to regain his honor and to seek revenge. Well, being Master Exor, you'll be able to equip six gadgets at a time and use their unique abilities for various purposes. You can change your gadgets any time in the game so that you'll be able to use a different set of abilities. Damien is not alone in the field. He is always accompanied by Icarus, the majestic golden eagle. Now, Icarus is not just a pet, he's also your most trusted ally. You see, you can use Icarus to perform various scouting activities like spotting targets or loots, uh, delivering messages, setting lures, distractions, and so on. And at higher levels, he also helps you in combat as well. Exor the Rising is set in a huge open world called Aogan. There are four regions that are very diverse from each other. You'll visit the high streets of the politically rotten, free-layered grand city of Kaimoria. You'll also traverse through the wet, dirty swamps of Sikir Moras. Explore the icy peaks and settlements of Quark Heights. Travel through the thick jungles of the crossroads, and that's the area that connects all other regions. The world is filled with majestic castles, dozens of settlements, natural organic spaces, caves, forts, oh, much more with a complex ecosystem. Now, there are four factions in Elgan, each having its own community and rules. The game's deep story requires you to take sides with any faction of your choice to get special missions and exciting rewards. And as you play, your interactions between the different factions will affect the game's story and how it progresses. Choose your faction and actions wisely as they may alter how the story ends. You see, we wanted to create a real role-playing experience in which players' choices will have a significant effect on the gameplay experience. Every mission in the game is designed to alter affinity, increasing toward one faction and decreasing toward another. Affinities are important because they directly affect the character and mission progression and play an important role in gameplay experience. We have a unique combat system which is quite complex 
yeah, it's straightforward. As the main weapon, you have the choice to equip either a one-handed longsword or a two-handed warhammer. Now, when it comes to gadget abilities, there are quite a lot to choose from. Experimenting and coming up with creative ways to use the special abilities of the Exor gadgets really make the game your own. Well, apart from the features explained before, we also have several other improved RPG features, like Modular Crafting System. Now that allows you to mix and match different parts of your equipment to create your own unique weapons and armors. There's a well-designed character development system that allows you to evolve Damien in any way you want. We have a very dynamic world that reacts to both player actions and natural factors like changes in time and season. Our open world gives you the freedom to do anything you want, wherever you want. Now, it's impossible to explain all the features in detail within this small video, so please be sure to check out the description for more details about the game and its features. Now, let me tell you why we are here in Kickstarter seeking your help. You see, our game's development is being funded by a private investor, but that's only for development. We still have to cover the costs of contractors, voice actors, packaging, distribution, marketing, and so on. Now, if we dedicate some of our development money for these costs, we might have to take some risks in development, forcing ourselves to remove some features from the game. That'll make the game smaller in scale and lesser in quality. We do not want this. Now, when we discussed about this with our investor, he promised us that if we rise a, a modest amount in Kickstarter, he could actually increase his investment. Now, the amount we're asking is just 10% of our game budget. However, it's still a big amount and will help us secure more funds from our investor. This means we can develop the game with much more creative freedom and add more quality content. We have a highly passionate team. We do not want to make just a game that sells, but we want to make an awesome game that is unique, memorable, and special to the gamers. We're working with great passion and are committed to finish and release the game by the fourth quarter of next year. So please help us develop and deliver this awesome game by supporting us here. If you're not able to make a pledge, you can still help us by sharing this campaign page with your friends on social media pages and forums. Thank you very much. And we look forward to your help to make Exor the Rising what we truly want it to be.
You shall never forgive and forget, but remember and recover. You may rather die on your feet than live on your knees.